Previously, in the anime, Ru just cleared out the 50th floor of the dungeon that all the top-notch guild were having trouble clearing out, he made a bet that he will clear out this dungeon and in return the top two guilds have to sign a treaty to help Rude and his guild out by managing the Avancia town's adventurers, he moves past the 50th floor and comes across a bony boss, after having a hard time battling it. They finally did defeat the thing, but that just attracted the attention of the dungeon boss, as she came out to play herself, she's known as the Demon King Amon, but she looked rather adorable, so Marius warned Rude that she's a hag of 300 years old, which was a rude thing to say, so Amon was ready to annihilate them whole, and the battle begins from there on, Amon was putting up quite an overwhelming fight all by herself, but a distraction worked out as the swordsman's got her, so she releases her anger on them, and Neem casted an area magic to boost everyone's power in their party. There Amon just morphs into a wolf, and her power got double, and even a Direct hit from swords left nearly no scar on her. But Marius was the only one powerful enough to land a hit as he was another demon king, so Amon takes on her next step and mages casted their support on attackers, Lilia nearly got her, and Rude keeps using provoke to get her attention, but there Amon used windstorm and got two down from the party, but Amon herself was in bad shape as well, so they pushed on with a final attack as Lily fused with Lilia again. They used magic with sword which finally took out Amon, but Rude had no intention of killing her off as he got the wish-granting stone, unlike other demon kings. Amon doesn't have particularly wished to attack humans, so she joined Rude and his party, but she loves to act cute to get spoiled, but with this, Rude completed his end of the challenge and signed an alliance with the two largest guilds and returned to Avamshia, where Amon quickly made a home for herself. And just like that, Avancia was flourishing with the incoming adventurers, but they found an injured homunculus who begged for help, her friends were in danger, so Rude told Luna to stay with her while he sets off to the forest with Neen, they saw homunculus were fighting with each others, and Rude picked a side with those who seemed to have emotions, he got to the right side, as they were the ones who needed help, for being illegally created. Their master ordered their death sentence and sent those plain homunculus to kill those with self-awareness. They were nothing more than just a doll who won't feel pain, so Rude kills off everyone to finish the tasks, he told the others that their friend asked him for help to ensure their safety, they don't like humans, but they followed Rude and got treated at the guild, and after tending to them, Fair came to thank Rude and Neen for helping them and asked him to take her to see the Lord, illegal homunculus were still feared by others. So Fair didn't mind even if they tied her hands, she purely wanted to look after others, so Rude agreed to her request but didn't tie her hands. Instead he holds her hand to take her to the Lord himself, they told him the whole matter, and Rude gave him the idea to let Homunculus work here, and the Lord liked the idea to provide them a home, but, to create such an advanced Homunculus like her and others with emotion and combat power needs very advanced tech, so Fair told them about Greed, the Demon King, who created them. And battle homunculus were mass produced in the nation of Brunkles where greed resides, that was an important info. So Lord agreed to give them protection, things went on pretty nicely, and when they got back, Rude told all of them they would get jobs, those homunculus were good at construction, but they still fears that they'll be exploited like they endured in Brunkles, so Rude told them their time for work that comes with lunch breaks, which obviously no one believes, and Manisha had the perfect work for them that is to build public bathhouse, so they picked that as their first job. And another thing concerning was that Luna never told to others that she's also a homunculus, she was still afraid. Though she wanted to take her time until town fears less from homunculus to open up. And Rude respected her wish, then, suddenly Amon pops out and hugged Rude, so he threw her off, she came here to tell Rude she's teaching the kids magic, and on that note, he asked her about greed, she knew him very well, but to keep it short, He's a nutjob who creates homunculus just for time pass, because demon king have immortal lifespan. But he was researching to get mana enchantment plus divine power of absorb shield which could make him ultimately powerful, a power that Rude possess, so. He experimented on homunculus to get that power, and hearing that ticked him off. But Amon wanted him to be wary of his own mana or he could become a monster or more so a demon king if used wrongly, after warning him she left, but the power she spoke of was already taking root inside of Rude. Then after that, homunculus started their work, and eventually others opened up to them, 
and Neen and Lily tamed their own monsters in the dungeon of Avancia, and after some time, the public bath was complete, but not many believe on the works of Homunculus, so the adventurer took their turns first to assure them about safety. The bath was built perfectly as everyone enjoyed their time in there, but there are still lingering doubts in everyone's mind, so Somimina took the initiative to invite the old man and his kid with a sincere heart, which won the hearts of others, and several days later the bath became a hit, and Homunculus got a job to make a living, but a huge monster horde was approaching the town, and the adventurers were gathered to defend the town. But the demon kings got the feeling that monster hordes came from a new dungeon, and the monsters in there were cloned that came out to attack the town. So they were ready to lend a hand, and Homunculus showed up as well, but Rude gave two potion to those little pets of Neen and Lily, and goes out to defend the town, but the second wave was consisting of higher grade monsters, so the monsters of Avancia dungeon came out to defend the town, the potion Rude gave to little ones were to clone the monsters, they became a big help in the fight. And the town's folk saw the efforts of Homunculus and accepted them, Amon had a hunch that a new dungeon had appeared because of greed as she sensed his mana, and Rude got all dark hearing about him. So Amon gave him cuffs that weakens a demon king as Rude made up his mind to fight greed, but he told Amon and Marius to stay behind to defend the town, then they left to get greed and entered the dungeon, but the dungeon seemed empty as far as they could see and sense, but Rude felt the dark mana as greed came out to greet them personally. He recognized Luna and Sammy Mina as his creation with a single glance, and Luna's secret got out that she's a homunculus, she thought others wouldn't accept her, but her thoughts were wrong, girls still cared for her, and Greed then got into the mood to take them out, and to forcefully take Luna on his side, his power was unparalleled, and even after one versus all, Greed kept up, but while attacking Rude when he used provoking skill, Luna used magic cancel and Greed finally tasted defeat, Rude used the cuffs instantly, but unfortunately, the Greed they fought was homunculus himself, and the real one finally showed up, the real Greed was way overly powerful, so Rude was using more mana to fight while Neen assist from back, Lily and Lilia fused together to catch up with Greed, and the fight was going on par this time, so Greed lets loose of himself and gives a heavy damage to Rude's absorb shield, so he used provoke to distract so Lily could strike him down, but their power wasn't enough. So Rude used damage converting power into his attack, and even after dealing 20,000 damage, Greed was completely fine, so Rude knew he had to use even more mana on his body, which seemed to be useful but still wasn't nearly effective, and in the end, Greed broke of his absorb shield with a single hit, and the results of Rude getting down were devastating, all of the girls were near death, and Rude was on the ground helpless, but that feeling of powerlessness got over his head and he finally lost control, he did just what Amon had warned him not to, and started matching up to Greed, he uses more and more mana, but Neen stopped him and slapped him to bring him back to his senses, Rude recalls Amon and her warning as the mana tried to take over his body, but hearing Nin's voice calmed his heart and he returned to normal, but Greed showed them the situation outside to break him apart, but thanks to those screens, Rude saw them and absorbed all the damage others took and used it on his attack, that finally took care of the matter as Greed, the famous demon king, was finally defeated, and our heroes finally made it back home and the strongest tank became the hero. And that brings the anime to an end, but stay tuned to watch more upcoming new anime on my channel, so until then, take care.